Oh, palm in it. Dunk it. Ah! <laughs> Welcome back. So it's been crazy um, since returning from Rosemary Beach. We've had an awesome time, but we just had to kind of get settled after two back-to-back -back weekends of trips. And then we've had um, a lot of a lot of birthdays in our family, as well as friends, as well as a lot of family visiting. Fris Frisco Library also reopened. It's been closed since like November, maybe December, um, but they were moving across, uh, kind of across the square to a brand new, um, part of like brand new renovation. So they opened that up and it is awesome, right? So they have, they have this like giant, giant dinosaur in there. They have dinosaur footprints that vibrate when you step on them, um, two stories you know, work rooms, STEM rooms, and they also have a children's playroom, um, which the first month has been super busy. Almost, you know, you gotta wait like an hour kind of thing um, on a wait list to get in, and then it's just crazy once you get in there, but it's super cool. They've got all these different places to play. So, right when we got back about a week later, Jack turned two. And so that weekend, we actually didn't have his birthday party. We only did our own little special thing on his birthday. Good morning, um, woke mama. Up to streamers in the present. What are we making? Are you making a bear? Show him the bear, mom. Bear. So cute. And then we got. Uh, all settled that morning after having a special breakfast and everything. <laughs> we took Jack to Filt Bear to yeah. his own bear because they do uh, you pay your age. You pay your age. So uh, his, his bear costs $2. And he loves it. He bubbles after the bubble bath. Uh, special bear, huh? Uh, heart. Shake the heart? Bubbles has been added to the Big shake. Good job. Bubbles has been added to the Big Jack. And then rub it on your heart? Um, so fun, okay, fun watching him make his first bear. You know how to blow on it. Good job. Good job, bud. You did so well! Yeah! Jeez. Can you get bear loves? The weekend after Jack's birthday, we had my mom visit because um, we had his birthday party. So she came into town for that. Um, we had a just a special little party at the sandbox by our house. Um, all of Jack's friends came and it was a really good time. We even had some people from work come and it was a lot of fun to just have everyone there for Jack and stuff. And... Gus here. Gus here. Here's Jack. We had a lot of fun with my mom Gus Street. Um, usually when we do like a lot of shopping, we try not to do any of that. We'll just have some of our part time. Enjoy time with Jack um, so she could spend some time with him. On her last day, we convinced her to stay an extra day again, like we did last time. But we went back to the Arboretum, uh, the Dallas Botanical Gardens and stuff, and that was a lot of fun. It was supposed to be like, what do they say, like peak poppy season or something like that. All the flowers have been planted and they're blooming, so it was, it was a lot of fun. We ended up spending uh, several hours there just walking around and letting Jack explore and everything. And we actually went to the kids' area this time, and Jack had a blast with that. Um, they have all sorts of things in there that um, once Jack is a little older, just some educational things about uh, how energy, water can turn into energy and stuff like that and how, you know, how our world kind of just works and stuff. And so it was a lot of, a lot of fun there. Uh, we had a blast walking around there. We hadn't seen that before, so. Gentle, right? You want to show me the flowers, bud? What colors are they? Pink and
especially on a hot day. I'm just going Same weekend or same day as Easter was Emily's birthday, so her parents actually came to town that weekend instead of Jack's birthday weekend, um, just to kind of spread everything out a little bit. And they stayed for a week, so that was a lot of fun. Um, same day as the Masters. If any, any golf fans out there, so me and Jack woke up and watched the Masters that that weekend and spent some time doing that. And he actually enjoyed it. He sat there with me and watched it for a little bit, which was fun. So I've got hope. Um, fingers crossed. My dad tried to get me into golf, and I wasn't interested until I was much older. So I'm hoping out. Still, I'm holding out for Jack being a golfer too. Hey, do you like golf? Do you like golf? Do you like golf? Show me your swing. Is that what that is? Car? You got a new car? So cool, Dad. This is also blue bonnet season in uh, Dallas or in Texas, so we've gone and taken pictures of Jack at the blue bonnets. We're gonna try and go back before they're gone. Um, if you are interested in seeing those pictures, you can follow us on, on Instagram at Baldwin Family Photos. Uh, we've also had a lot of other, a couple other birthday parties going on. So we've had maybe three of Jack's friends have all had birthdays in the last month as well. And we're kind of taking pictures of those. So I might post some of that, some of those so you guys can see that as well. This time of year, whenever we get a little storm coming in, we'll let Jack put his rain boots on and um, we'll just kind of go walk around and let him splash in puddles and stuff and we can find them. They dry up pretty quick, but um, he has a lot of fun doing that. Um, and we've been, so we probably do that a couple times a week right now and just kind of let him, just let him run around. Walks go a lot slower now because uh, Jack likes to, he likes to walk now, and <laughs> but he doesn't like to go walk anywhere fast. So a lot of fun though, just watching him explore. What do you got in your feet? Rain boots. Is that 
Do you have rain boots on? No. Dad does no rain boots. Can you catch a, a raindrop? Hey. Uh, catch one. Ready? Catch a raindrop. Up. Yeah.